Welcome to the landscaping series on the Clover Creek map in FS19. Today we will be mowing a few residential lawns. We'll be heading over to the shop in our 2017 Ford F-250. Today we will be using our brand new 72 inch right stander mower along with the 06 Chevy 2500 and the new 18 foot low trail trailer. I'm excited to be back here doing some lawn care on the Clover Creek map. This is our first zero turn stander mower here in FS19. I can't wait to put it to work here with a few very big residential lawns. We'll now be using this new entrance here quite a lot. It makes it a little bit easier here for leaving and coming into the shop. I hope all of you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below here in the comments. My day is going good so far and hope yours is too. I will be looking into getting more mowers here for this series. I recently converted the 72 inch mower here. There are a few things I will have to fix on it including getting the front two wheels to kind of uh, work as they should and also to fix a few of the different things uh, including adding like the player on it. Uh, some minor things that do need a little bit of adjusting but once all those are done we will have quite a few different ones and more than likely I will convert uh, a lot of them from FS. 17. This is the 72 inch right. It's a, it's a very efficient stand on mower and it's a very popular one as well, which is a good thing. We want ones that are popular, well known, and that are really reliable for when we go out mowing. If you would like to see more mowing lawn care videos here in FS19, please let me know. I definitely want to do more of these, and I really do enjoy lawn care as well. It's a great thing we do here in the game, and it's been popular on the channel for quite a long time. I'm very excited about this brand new setup here, this 18 foot bumper pull trailer is one awesome one. This actually was released way back in FS13 and it's been converted all the way through the different games and it's nice to see this trailer, I mean it looks amazing. And big shout out goes out to all the different mod creators here for releasing mods and for all the versions of Farming Slater. We are back here in the 06 Duramax. I've actually been using this truck quite a lot recently and I've really been enjoying it. I like the interior and I like the body style of this. It would be nice if we could get an extended cab with like the short bed. That would be a great configuration. I would daily that uh, with the series or even a crew cab. I would definitely have to look into getting one. I will be doing a few more throwback videos to FS17. I really still do enjoy uh, the older version of the game with the different things it does offer as well. And I think we'll be doing lots more. So we are doing this house here to the left hand side of us and then one a little bit further down the road. And one thing I will have to say for a very successful lawn care company is you want to have as many houses, uh, lawns to do as close as you can. That means less driving around town. And that is kind of what we have here. We actually do quite a lot of these, these houses and it's kind of nice as well. We'll get turned on and we'll get going. And I actually want to have the chute facing away from the house. That way we don't get grass stains all over. That would not be a good thing. Even though it's a greenhouse, we don't want that grass all over their siding and their foundation. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for all of your continued support here on the daily videos. I really do enjoy uploading to uh, YouTube every single day. And you guys have been awesome with all of the positive feedback and I really do appreciate it. Uploading is a lot of fun for me. Really, really enjoy it. And I can't wait to continue to do it. This is a very big one. Usually corner lots are always the biggest. Now you guys can see the back wheels do work, everything like that, and right standards do get up and go pretty fast when they are mowing. I believe they cut upwards of uh, around like 10 to 11 miles per hour, which is awesome. 
Using a Xbox uh, controller here is pretty helpful as well. You can control the amount of acceleration, uh, pretty much the gas pedal, and it's a little bit easier than using a keyboard. I will be working on the sounds, trying to get everything worked out as well with this. And we have a lot more games coming here to the channel within the coming weeks as well. I have really been focusing on farming somewhere lately, but I can't wait to get back into all the other games that we usually play here. I want to go around these bushes. And I really do like how the bushes and everything moves, even the grass uh, moves as well. And the grass textures on the Clover Creek map, the map we are currently on, are very, very nice as well. I actually want to now outline this, and we, we try to stripe the front, do some nice lines for the front, and in the back, it doesn't have to be too focused on that, but we try our best. If you guys have an hour day, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and check it out. I do post daily pictures over there, sneak peeks, and uh, just showcasing the mods I am currently working on, things like that. I really do enjoy it quite a lot. I do respond to you guys, and it's, it's a lot of fun to interact with all of you. You've been awesome supporters here of the channel, and I just would like to thank all of you for that. Spring is just around the corner, and we do have some videos related to spring coming up as well, and we'll probably do some more uh, FS17 videos as well. I still really do like that game like I have touched upon. The mods are really good in it, and also, we have just so many different things we could do with those mods. I will be looking into creating a new save game with... a. Uh, the same shop to see if that uh, will kind of prevent this lag problem from happening. Let me know down below in the comments if you do mow grass, what type of mower do you use? A bush mower, a riding mower, or a commercial one? And which one would you guys prefer? And what others would you guys like to see here on the channel? I definitely would like to get a vent track. Those are some pretty awesome ones. And I will be uh, trying to convert and release all the zero turns I released uh, back in 17. That would be awesome. This one, the um, Bobcat, and the other zero turn. Those would be nice. Uh, and hopefully I could get them working and release them to you guys as well. Now I do have to add the player back here. I did kind of hide him uh, just because he wasn't in the correct position. And uh, I couldn't really get him to stand on it. So far, I've really been enjoying FS19. There's quite a lot of mods coming out, and the mods are actually really high quality as well, which is nice to see. This one property took us quite a long time to do, which it is pretty realistic. I mean, lawns uh, don't just take a few minutes to mow. If you do have any cool games you guys would like me to do here, let me know down below here in the comments. I do want to get back into Spin Tires, uh, Beam NG, those along with American Truck Simulator. I got a few uh, comments asking me the other day for some videos, and yes, there will be more coming. I think I uh, am starting to prefer stand-on mowers over like a zero turn mower. I think just because they're a smaller size, easier to fit on trailers, and if anything was to happen, you could easily jump off it. Like if you're sliding down a hill into like a pond, you could easily jump off it, and that's a good safety thing. Let me know down below, what, what would you guys prefer, the stand-on or the riding? I think maybe if you're on a mower 10-12 uh, hours a day, maybe I would choose a zero turn over a stand-on, but I think both are very unique mowers and are 
uh, have key advantages and key advantages. The handling of this is very nice. It did work on the steering and try to get it to be the best it can be. Alright, that's it here for this one. A very big property, and I can't wait to do quite a lot more. And currently, the lawn care series is combined into uh, the landscaping series. We'll do this uh, probably for quite a long time until we have enough uh, mowers and equipment to just branch off and do our own company on like a different map, something like that. But we'll get the uh, Duramax started back up. I believe that there were a few crew cabs here of this body style in uh, the old version of the game. I will look into converting those and possibly uh, bringing them here and doing some videos with them. That would be awesome. Now we are going to be doing this property over here to our right. It isn't actually that big so we'll do this. I do recommend you check out the upgrade video getting this brand new trailer. You guys can see we actually have the wire going from the truck to the trailer, which is nice. And the next thing would be safety chains. I'm not sure how that would be. Ha having those safety chains would be awesome, I will have to say. This is a small property as well. And I try to mix like a small and large one uh, together. And then we'll head back and really test out the new gate uh, that we recently installed. That will be nice to really see how it works. Another mod I really do really want to try to get fully functioning is a weed eater. That would be so nice and will definitely add to the realism of these videos. And there seems to be some grass patches here, so we might have to come and plant some grass. I really do like the uh, view of the stand on as well. Right up and over it. Definitely need to move this camera view just a little bit. Other than that, though, I mean, it's a nice one. The property line is right here, so it's not that big of a property. I usually do like to outline the property at least once and then just go back and forth. We'll probably just do striping pattern this way. We do have quite a lot of cool videos here coming. We do have some more heavy rescue, fire rescue as well. Both of those do get quite a lot of requests. A few more rebuilding back in 17 and a few in FS19. I can't wait for that first one here in this game where we have really good trucks, everything like that. I'm trying to wait out on some of the series to wait until we have some really good mods for them. It's nice to have a few smaller properties in our uh, account list. We'll just get this area here before we do forget. And we'll get this little tiny one. Perfect. I'm still trying to get back into uh, kind of the way of doing lawn care. I haven't really done too many, I will have to say. Usually I did one to two a week back in 17 and uh, way back there in 15, but really have been uh, doing so many different things, especially with the landscaping company. We've been so busy doing some other projects, and we do have some more lined up here with in the coming days, so stay tuned for those. One of the most popular series on the channel currently and the homeowner series I really also enjoy. I can't wait to do more videos with that. And there will be a GTA 5 homeowner series very soon. I am currently working on a few problems with my game. The mods aren't as stable as uh, Farming Slater. And hopefully I could get those few problems worked out to have the game uh, load in without having it crashing quite a few times. If any of you have had that problem, let me know. And hopefully I could get that worked out pretty quickly. Having this 11 mile per hour top speed is pretty helpful as well, and I really do like a lot. Right standards are pretty popular among companies, and it's just uh, a great mower.
I definitely do want to do some uh, kind of real life mowing this upcoming year and possibly kind of try out some of these mowers. That would be one awesome thing to do for some videos. We'll get this loaded up here on the trailer and we'll head back. Now this is actually a uh, dead end road so it's not a through way and we'll just uh, kind of back into the driveway here. There's really no room at the end of the street. Now this Duramax does like have a two inch uh, level kit, lift kit on it and I think I might lower back down to kind of stock height just a little bit and maybe drop down the hitch a little bit more so that the trailer sits level and you guys can see there's quite a lot of weight on that trailer. But I really do want to test out the new gates and then we'll hop back in our truck and we'll head back to the house. The lawn looks a very nice mode. And I will also be adding the manual attaching and the automatic uh, turn signals off. That way, after the turn, the turn signal turns off. It's a bit easier for me as well, and it is realistic because all vehicles do that, and uh, it's not slotting around on us, which is great. The Clover Creek map has been the perfect map here for me for uh, quite a long time. Now I still uh, cannot find any other map as good as this one. Until then, we'll probably stay here on this map. I really do like the uh, kind of the textures of this map as well as everything about it is very nice. The houses, and I just can't wait to build my uh, new map this summer and release it to you guys. It will be pretty awesome. This is a tight squeeze here just because how we kind of parked our Ford there. But you guys can see that is pretty much it here for today's lawn care landscaping video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.